UHF is connected. I concluded that I have to invest in real audio because my entire lesson logo Logan cut a whole entire time. It's so frustrating. You can't really hear what I'm saying. And when I do finally say something that's important, you can't you miss it because it cut out. So now I have to consider a real investment instead of spending fifty dollars at a pop because I keep buying new ones, but. You know, using fifty dollars doesn't hurt you too bad, and then there's another fifty dollars. Another fifty dollars. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is getting his head down, where we've asked him to do it, of course. You try it on either side. I mean, it will look different on that side, so just plan to be at his shoulder. Plan to stay at his shoulder, and then you might as well start using the word head down, so that way as we Any other way to prevent the other hand from being straight out communicating something? So if you keep your other hand to your side. Good? He's like, all right, I got that. So try with the words, see if we can. Because the reason I want the words is so that way when we do get him on the circle and he's understanding the circle, we could just say head down on the circle and he'll put his head down on the circle. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, we'll get his, make sure his backup is working. So, we'll go ahead and ask him to back up. Yep. So, we're going to, ooh, we'll try like bumping into a stop versus of him and spinning him around. Um, so what I, I want to kind of get out of all the grabbing and having a hold of him because I, because I like to have everything to be where that's only a safety net and eventually you can have him do a bunch of stuff at Liberty. But if every time he does the wrong thing, the only way he knows is because he's been pulled to be told that we don't, we want to be able to correct him without having to pull him around. Okay. So ask him to back up. And if he does anything but what you asked for, you're going to kind of wiggle to get his attention and see if you can get him to change ears focus and go backwards and then if they take a while then you'll just get that one backwards good good up oh, now yep there yep 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 bump him bump him bump him bump him there now back Good. So when, when you have to do something like that where you have to like collect him, you know, then just start with whatever line you have. You don't have to drop everything again. So like, yep, bump him, bump him, bump him, bump him, bump him. As soon as he's facing you, back him up from what other line you have. Yep, there. Good. Now, yep, stop him, stop him. So this is, we just got to get this message to him that that's all we're asking for. And he's just getting, ask him to back up. Step. He does know the barn's behind him, so he may be reluctant to go. Yep, 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 stop, 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 stop. Tell him to stop. Yep, now back up. Good. So basically you just said, wrong answer, wrong answer, wrong answer. That's the right answer. So all your activity was to say, there, there, look at all you had to do. Now you can invite him back before he moves on his own. I swear I fly sprayed him, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Did I just? No, I guess I didn't. Yeah, that's right, because he likes to roll right after you fly spray him. <laughs> I 
fly spray you, okay? Let me get those nasty bugs away from you. Because hmm? they're bothering you, huh? You gonna stop, drop, and roll on us again? Yeah. You really think so? cutie okay so go ahead and ask him to back up there's a big tractor in the back there mowing my field so the horses are being silly about it yep 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 <laughs> it's all right you can still wiggle him backwards he can still go backwards from there yep one more Now, because he does want to move his feet, point him out to the field and ask him to go to his left, your right. One kiss will tell him he's supposed to do something with his feet. That's okay. Yep. That's what you want him to do. You want him to wait for instructions. Good? Okay, back him out of your space. Protect your personal space. One more. One more, step back. Yep, 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 yep. Good, now go quiet. Now tell him to go somewhere. So now he's gonna get rambunctious right there and he's gonna get close to you, so be ready for him to, to, to tell him to get out and away from you. Good. Tell him to go. So he's going to get a little bubbly here. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad he stopped and asked you. So don't make him wrong for asking a question. So that was nice of you to ask. So, but I do want you to keep going. Yep. 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 Back him out of your space. And it's funny because he actually didn't know, he, I mean, he was being kind of snotty, but he didn't know he did anything wrong. And the, the, the question that he asked you right away was great. When you stopped him, he's like, well, what did I do? So it was good that he was ready to ask you a question instead of blow up even worse. Yep. Yep, leave him alone. Nice departure. High kneeled him politely because we want to go thank him for that. So high kneeled him before he does his little bump up thing. Good. Now, go ahead and, yep. Stop. Yep, that extra step. So that, so the, the gray areas that you create, though, regardless of what your purpose was, bad for him, you know what I mean? Because then he doesn't understand. My mom told me something when I was a kid, Dogs don't understand sometimes, and I apply it with the horses, too. If it's not okay all the time, then it should never be okay. Yep. So for me, I'm a little stickler about getting their front feet even, so I would ask that one front foot to get back. Good. Up. Good. So now ask him, trick him. Ask him to go the other way. And we didn't do the other way, so be careful that he doesn't 
come at you. If he does, just protect your personal space. We didn't do this direction yesterday, so we'll see where his pattern develops here. So when he gets up by me, hind yield him so we can thank him for that nice departure. Yep, keep him going. Yep, because he's trying to roll. So the hind yield we actually didn't do, and I know I keep telling you that, and I think I'm leaving you hanging as to what that actually is. Yeah, yeah, let me see if I can help him understand it, and then this way he'll, hey, back. Back. Talking to you. No, it's not what I said. It's not what I said. Listen. Yep, that's what I said. There you go. Do we need to do it like that? How about you walk away nicely? Ah, listen. Yep, you're right. You're right. You can have a meltdown, but listen, listen. You're okay. You're good. You're good. Pay attention to me, though. Good. See, it wasn't so bad. So I'm going to wait till that doesn't happen again. Yep. Yep. So when he gets up at the barn, I'm going to hind yield him. I'm going to bump his nose. I don't want you this close to me, so I'm going to ask you to get away from me. Can you take off nicely again? Nicely. You don't have to leave like that. You don't have, uh, we're not having that conversation. No, nicely. Thank you. So I'm going to get him, to, his pattern is to get close to me here. Try again. Yep. Good. So I'm going to allow that because he was asking questions while he was thinking about being rambunctious. I'm going to just interrupt it here. Oh, he got squatted. So as soon as he got dropped down, like he dropped his chest kind of down in between his front legs, as soon as he did that, I knew he was getting ready to squirt. So I wanted to interrupt the, the little squirt he was going to do. We'll see if he'll do it again. It's a pattern. So I'll, I'll show it to you. He got a little thing going on. If you real close to me, I'm going to try to get that to change. Please, go. Out, out, good. You don't need to trot, but you need to keep walking. You can, you can do this. Yep, good. So right there. Yep. Nicely. Nicely. Yeah, keep your... No, we're not having that conversation again. I don't like that conversation. It's a stupid conversation. So I'm just going to... In advance, and then say, but keep going. So I'm going to try to break this. I'm going to be a little... I don't want to stop you anymore. But we're not going to have these conversations that he wants to have. And now I'm just going to get rid of it. By talking to him right about here, because that's where, he, and then I'm going to say, now could you please walk nicely through here, because there's no reason to have any of these little conversations out. Good. So, like he starts to have his moment, and then say, ah, nope.
Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Walk. You can walk off nice. No, wrong answer. Wrong answer. I didn't stop telling you. Yep. I'm... I haven't changed anything. Can you get off me? Hey. There you go. There you go. Now, pay attention. Pay attention. Yep. Now, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Move politely. Now. We'll do this together. Move politely. Yes. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Good. 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 You're right. You're right. We'll get it. Good. There. There you go. Don't. Good. Here you go. Okay, uh, yeah, she's your new friend, huh? She misses you. Hey, listen. Good. Good boy. No. Good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good job. Whew. Good job. Uh-uh. Back up. Back. Yep. Nice. There you go. Don't. You gotta try it again. You gotta try it again. You gotta get through that spot. There you go. He's hard to break his patterns. So watch ears. When he changes his ears and his eyes, like right there, his eyes change, but his ears didn't change, so I knew he wasn't gonna do it that time. Oh, good. So watch if his ears go back and his eye changes, like it's starting to, but then his ears went up. So he's learning something there. He's like, oh, wait a minute. I get in trouble when I make that face and then I do something with my body. 
So he's learning about what faces give him away. Good. 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 So I'm going to just start off by saying I was going to do the hind yield. I just wanted to fix that because that was going to just get worse. So the hind yield. Back. Back. Excuse me. Back. So the hind yield, I should be able to look at his tail and have him not show me his hind end. And I don't want you on top of me. Get back. So I always tell people to act like you're afraid that he's going to kick you, but you want to see if a butterfly just landed in his tail. So he shouldn't offer me to, an opportunity to actually see his rump. No. Goodness gracious. Okay, we'll step over here. Okay. Hey. Hey. Good boy. That was perfect. Perfect. Yes. But if you creep around, you're not paying attention. You'll regret it. See how that works? Don't go forward. Don't go forward. Hey, you know better now, don't you? Say, I'm not showing you my butt. That's right. You got plenty of warning. I know, this is tough. I can reach it. You're going to get it. Oh boy, that's right. Yeah, I'm kind of known for that. Yeah. My space. Got my space. Uh-uh. No. So I'm going to kind of get him out on that, too. That's a pretty strong argument he likes to have.
the phone. Hold the phone. So now, if I was in and I was to turn and look at his tail, that's the response we should get. So he does look for that forehead approval. So I'm going to, I mean, it, I'm going to have you do it. And you're probably going to have to prove to him you'll kick him too. Um, but he may, he may just say, oh, wait, humans know how to make me move my butt. Stubborn boy. Um, possibly because he's never really been expected to 100% respond all the time to where, you know, because he gets, he's got a lot of energy, but it's nervous energy. Um, he's got a little dominance that those shaking his head, those are conversations we want him not to have with us because he's being really rude. Um, obviously the jumping up and coming at us, those are, those are a couple things that we need to fix. Um, but other than that, they, and they're, I think, I would relate them to lack of education. I don't know how he got his education, what he actually knew or didn't know. Um, but if I was to address a horse that I never knew and didn't know anything about him, I would say a lack of education makes them kind of like, I don't know what you want, you know, and that's kind of what he's doing. He's not trying to be mean. He's not malicious. He's not coming, charging us or anything like that. He's basically using his body to kind of, get the annoyance away um and he warns us by shaking his head so we need to get that's the first step that he shows us is he has a you know an argument with us then if we can get him to stop arguing with us all the other stuff will stop he shakes his head that that needs to be you know like back in three steps like don't you ever talk to me like that kind of stuff um so let's see if we can get you to hind hind yield him we are going to keep going in the direction that he's now learning to be better behaved at. Okay. Um, and then I'll pick out his pattern. But what I do a lot of things like, like called pop quizzes. Like I'll ask you because it's easier. I usually apologize for it. And then people tell me, no, they, they actually prefer it that way because it helps them develop their confidence on knowing the answer as opposed to me just feeding you the answer. Yeah. Um, so I might ask you, do you see his pattern? And then, you know, whether I'm going to always ask you if you pick up on their patterns. So always look for them. And then um, we'll see which ones need to be fixed, which ones are good. You can get, like, say he's got a good stretch right here. He's actually got a good stretch there, but he's looking out. So, uh, you know, I'd like to change the looking out part, but I'm not going to make him wrong because then once he does look in, that's when he has his moment here. But he's learning to stop that. He, he realized that his ears and his faces are giving him away, what, what his thoughts are. So he's playing now with his ears if you watch me goes by now they go like this and then he chooses not to have his little freak out um so like if we can politely kind of what we could do to get him to look in at us instead of out is we can draw him we can take like a rock backwards and that'll get him to go huh okay um and then just leave him alone again like i'm glad you checked in that's all i wanted you to do and then when he gets here We'll see if he's still going to do it here. He, I might have fixed that now, but he may develop a whole new pattern because somebody else is working with him. But let's see if we get his hind yields for you. So I do it kind of like I'm a, a cat in tall grass and I just spotted a mouse. So I do it real kind of creepy. Like I suggest you move that because if you don't, I'm going to tag it. So kind of go, keep going out and around, like you're, you're planning on going out and around to get that, his butt. There, good, quick. Go, noosh, yep. So that real calm, like you noticed I was like looking up, you know, that real, I know, that was all I wanted, dude. You know, if you can keep giving him that energy, he'll, he'll pick up the answers quickly. So that was a backup, so keep going so we don't. There. Good. Yep. Yep. Don't let him come forward. Because part of his unconfidence is he gets on top of you. There. But back him up. Yep. There. Yep. Now he's getting he's getting worried. That's where that's coming in. 
Good? Good. Now he's he's asking questions, but kind of over your shoulder, but that's okay. Yep, back up. Good. There, that's more of a question to you. So go ahead and ask him to hind yield, but be, you know, like, accept, expect him to do it. Good, stop. Step out and ask for another one. Even with him distracted, don't worry about him ever being distracted. Go up. Now go ahead and give him a rub on his head. Good. That's my favorite moment with a horse, is when they put their head in my hand. Okay. So now we're going to ask him to go out on the circle. We're going to try to find out if we can get a polite circle, and then we're going to utilize that hind yield to stop him from continuing on. We're going to go, yep, yep. Oh boy, he felt that backup feel on that line and he backed up. That's very nice, very nice. Good, leave him alone. Put your hand down. See if you can hind yield him. Give him a little bump on the nose, let him know something's going to happen. Good. Back him out of your space. Don't let him come in. Good. Leave him alone. And get definitely in the habit of looking at his chest or his feet or away from him. Don't stare at him in the eye. That's very intimidating. And if he was to decide, you know what, I kind of don't like you, which I doubt that's going to happen. But if they decide that, they, uh, they take offense to being stared at. That's a really nice question he's asking. He's like, and what would you like me to do then? Good. Ask him to take one step back and then choose the direction and ask him to go. So that could be where you stare at him. You know what I mean? Like, that could be a get back, I said. Good. Pick your direction. Yep. Yep. Good. Because he's thinking it through right now. He's actually not being bad by not understanding. He's thinking right now. Yep, leave him alone. Good. Good. Nice departure. Politely hind yield him so we can put our hand on his head and let him know that that was what we were looking for. Politely, politely, politely. Good. 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 Ask him to back away. So many horses that lunge don't have a clue what they're being asked to do and that's why they just run like crazy heads at the end of a line with their head facing out. We want them to look in and ask questions. Yep. Yep, gentle, gentle. Let him think it through. He's got it. Good. Allow him to have that line if he wants it. Tell him. Just gently tell him to keep going, like just point your hand back up to say, keep going, you know, thank you for asking, but keep going. Yep, gentle, gentle, good. So he's gonna do that again. He's gonna stop kind of halfway up that hill there and ask you again. So just put your hand up and say, I'd like, don't, you don't have to swing, don't swing. So it's just gonna be, you're just gonna encourage him going by telling him, yeah, I'd like you to keep going as opposed to giving him any energy. You're just gonna raise your hand like you told him to walk on. Yep, that's how you answer him, good. Good. Hind yield him. Gently bump him. Jump. Gently bump him. Look at his tail. Good. So with him, he's actually, he needed me to kind of, do you ever see the movie uh, Airplane? The funny movie? Yeah, where the lady's freaking out and gets in line in the aisle and to smack her to try to calm her down. Oh. <laughs> I always use that reference and nobody knows it. I, I got to come up with another. Oh my God, I, great, it's a perfect analogy for what, so like when he was having his meltdowns, he really needed somebody to just give him a good shake. Yeah. And then now he doesn't need any of that shaking. So that's why I keep saying gently, gently, gently. Because when he, when you tell him to go, if you watch, his eyes go internal. Like if you, you can see him kind of go, so you know he's thinking. And when he rocks back, you know he's, the message got to his shoulders. 
and then when he starts to lean, the message is like down to his knees. So then you just leave him alone because the message is getting there. And you just want to leave him alone because let him think it through. Because they're, they're better off believing that they thought it and they got the right answer as opposed to us saying, I told you to leave, damn it. So we want to make sure that anytime he gives us the impression he